funny and we we overlook it because it's nothing that really stands out Mm -hmm. so i want to encourage um one of my very dear friends right now is actually going through chemo and um had breast cancer she she ignored it she felt it like months before and she ignored it and um she went you know, for her mammogram, and it was something that was there that could have quite possibly. Do you been know caught. what she felt? She felt a lump. Mm. She felt a lump, and, and she just kept ignoring it. You're saying for ignored months. Ignored it months. exactly. Mm-hmm. And I lost one of my very dear friends, one of my childhood friends, um, who turned out to be a family member. She, she married my cousin, but I lost her at 28 years old from cancer, you know, from breast cancer. So it's it's serious. And I mean, that was super young. She was just about to live her life at, at 28 years old. You know, so we're never too young. And also men can have breast cancer as well. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, it's imperative that you get your physical. Okay. I, I, I'm As we're winding down, I do want to know, um, how did your mother know that she had diabetes? Oh my gosh. She knew that she had diabetes when she was working in an industrial job and she was at work and this was in her, well into her 40s, mind you. Um, She was at work and she passed out in the floor um, in a puddle of water. And it, this was a male dominant job, mind you. So it just happened that she came out of the bathroom. She said she was in the bathroom and she couldn't figure out how to get out. One of those times when the blood sugar was super low. She couldn't figure out how to get out. And she just, like she said, it was like a struggle to get off the commode. Like she had to use both hands to get up. She got off the commode. She went, try to wash her hands. And she struggled to get out the door. She got out the door because there's not a lot of women working in the area. So she could have been in there for days without another woman coming through that same bathroom. So, however, she got right outside the bathroom door and she just laid down and she landed in a puddle of water. So the next man who came by found her. So they called, you know, the nurse um, that was on duty and called the paramedic. And that's when she realized that she had diabetes. And it was something that was just that drastic to happen. You know, when they when they got there and they checked it, it was like super low and they took it to the hospital. And from that point forward, it progressed. Wow. Okay. I, I feel good about this conversation. Like, I really do. I didn't think it was going to be as good as, like, as valuable as it has been. Great. But it is, it's, this has actually been a very, very, very great learning experience. Great. Um, as we, as we wind it down uh, with Coach Lakeisha, again, guys, check her out on Instagram. Uh, again, it's, uh, let me read it properly for they start following the wrong person. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> and, uh, Coach Lakeisha is the hand on Instagram. That's C O A C H L A K E S H A. Check her out on Instagram. Follow her. Hit the like button. Show her some like love. Um, also, she is also on Facebook. We'll make sure to put uh, her details in the show notes. You are an entrepreneur. Mm hmm. You are a powerful woman. What well, thank you. You are a warrior. You are somebody who has beat adversity. You have someone who's seen. You are someone who has seen adversity and has made it through. I'm interested to know what entrepreneurial advice could you give to us? Uh, I can just uh, say trust the process, trust the process, trust the journey, um, prosper where you're planted, no matter if it's something that you're passionate about, if it's something, number one, that you believe in and you know that could benefit the masses, don't give up on that thing. I actually didn't tell you, but I, I fallen back from this company for 10 months. I did nothing with it, but it was for personal reasons. But I knew one thing about it, the products work. And when I saw myself sitting on that beach, I knew that I needed help. And I why, why not go with the products that I knew that worked? In addition to that, 
people started seeing what I was doing on Facebook Live, taking the products. They started seeing my body shrink because I lost 40 pounds down from a size 18 to a size 12. Um, in a short period of time, I started to walk because I'm not a real workout person. I just started to walk and getting in that cardio. And as a result, I made over 27,000 part-time um, because I still work full-time as a nurse. So this year I'm about to go hard because I know that I need to help a thousand nurses to give that second job back to the economy, anybody, but especially nurses because that's who I am, right? So I would say, stick to it, trust the process. Entrepreneurship is like far better than working for somebody else. I mean, it's like you, you get to create that heritage and that legacy to leave for your family. That is really awesome. Where in the where in the world uh, do you live? Atlanta. Okay, is that where you're from? I'm from Selma, Alabama. Oh, Selma, Alabama. Okay. Um, all right. So let me just give everybody just a quick backdrop. Uh, I've known uh, Lakeisha here for a few, uh, no, more than a few years. Maybe a, a, maybe a little under a decade. Who who's doing the math? But two thousand seven. Uh, two thousand seven. Uh, oh, so it is about a decade. So um, I randomly randomly uh, went on her Facebook Live and she keeps mentioning it. So I keep thinking like, yeah, that's kind of crazy that I accidentally just hit the button and I saw you talking and I loved what you were talking about. You were telling your story, but you were also sharing uh, what you know your products have done for you. And it's just amazing how things happen. It's amazing that it took a Facebook Live video of me just tuning in for maybe 10 minutes to actually want to know more about your story. And I'm very grateful that I did. And again, uh, we'll put her Facebook uh, link in the show notes. And I would definitely say hop on, take a look at her on the Facebook live video. She always, it looks like she's doing updates pretty often. Do you answer questions also like health questions if they have health questions? Absolutely. And I do free consultations as well. And, you know, we don't claim to cure. How much are your consultations? Free. Free. Wait, wait. See, you guys heard it, right? (laughs) She said the F word and she didn't cuss. We we like free. We we, we like free. Absolutely free. And, and, you know, we don't claim to cure or mitigate any disease or disease processes. But I've been a nurse for over 20 years. And, and, you know, I can certainly um, shed some light on some things that a person can be faced with without, you know, diagnosing and saying, okay, take this, you know. But, of course, I can lead a person in the right direction. We have meal plans. We have workouts that you can do from home. So, you know, you're going to get a full spectrum of uh, things that it could take you to get your health back on track or it more importantly to prevent different conditions from happening. All right, that is really awesome. And last but not least, I would like to pass it over to you. I know you referenced that you may have cut me off, um, which is a good thing because if somebody cuts me off, that means that they're very passionate about what they're about to say, and we need to hear that. <laughs> I also, <laughs> I also do the same thing. So, in the case if I did cut you off in between a something, a point you was going to make or a message you wanted to give. Or maybe I didn't ask you a question that you wanted to to leave with us. Now is the time. Uh, Do you have anything that you would like to uh, share at this point before we get out of here? Well, no, nothing that I could really think of in time we hang up. I'm like, man, I should have said that. But no, I really just want to, you know, again, acknowledge you. Thank you for your platform. And, you know, thank you for being there and inspiring, inspiring and continuing to be who you are because people need you. You know what I mean? Continue to show up and being your true authentic self and pulling out the best in others. That is so awesome and amazing. So I appreciate you uh, for doing that as well. And I'm just, you know, happy to be here and I am open and um, truly authentic and I'll be, you know, willing to help anyone with whatever their desire is, you know, that's within my capacity. 
Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Billionaire Brown Experience here with Coach Lakeisha Hall. Um, hit her up, follow her. If you, if you, you might be nervous a little bit to send her an email or to send her an inbox. Maybe you're nervous at first. But as I always say, listen, follow. Just follow. Just start trolling. Just look at what she's doing. Look at, look, just look at what she's doing. And at worst... You're just following her. I can promise you she wouldn't be the worst person that <laughs> most of y'all are following. So uh, definitely give her a look. Uh, as we always say, I'm fired up. I'm ready to go. Until next time, continue to be. Dental problems don't get better the longer you wait. They just get worse and more expensive. The number one dental plan in America today guarantees to save you 20 to 80% on all dental procedures you can get done in the dental office. Regular teeth cleanings all the way up to cosmetic dentistry. No waiting periods. Contact a benefit consultant immediately to find out what open enrollment specials are available in your state today. 888-674-9409.